In this overview, we are going to demonstrate two category charts. Two category charts are not a chart type, but a new feature within the Data Visualizer app. This feature allows you to add two dimension items to the category of various chart types that already exist within the Data Visualizer. Chart types that can use this feature include column, stacked column, bar, stacked bar, line, area, and stacked area. We can see an example of a chart with two categories on screen. This is a column chart showing institutional delivery rate. We can see it has both periods and locality, which contains urban, rural, and peri-urban organization unit groups within the category selection of the chart. If we review the chart itself, we can see that the institutional delivery rate has been separated by these two categorizations. This includes the period at the top of the chart, followed by the locality along the bottom axis of the chart. This order can easily be swapped. We can move the locality and place it before the period in our category selection. If we update the chart, we can see this quickly changes how the categorizations are separated on the chart itself. These types of charts are easy to make. The only addition to a regular chart is selecting more than one dimension for your category selection. I can start by selecting my data, in this case, institutional delivery rate. I will leave the period and organization unit selections as default and update my chart. Now I can choose to add in any of the additional dimensions relevant to this indicator. We can see that the data visualizer shows us which dimensions are compatible with this indicator using the green dot available through the dimension recommendations feature. Let me select the urban rural dimension select all the available items, and add this to my category. We can now see an updated version of this chart, similar to the chart we were reviewing initially. As the urban rural dimension was selected second, it appears as the second selection in terms of the order within the category. This second selection will always appear along the bottom axis. We can swap the order of these categories around as we previously discussed. We can also change the chart type if we would like as well. For example, we could select an area chart to display this data for comparison. When we update the chart, we can see the order of our categories reflected via the top and bottom x-axis and our chart type modified. Two category charts can also be used within combination charts, allowing for a greater level of detail of information to be displayed across multiple axes. We have a more detailed overview of combination charts that you can review to learn more about this feature. In this overview, we discussed two category charts and demonstrated how to create them in Data Visualizer. A number of chart types support the use of this feature, and it is a good idea to explore this in more detail to see what chart types are most appropriate for your data. We look forward to hearing your comments on this feature. For any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us on the community of practice.